guys, it's Steph and welcome back to another reading vlog. I know, yet another reading vlog. I literally just did one and now I'm doing another. It's currently 11.40 on Sunday, the night before the start of the Thriller-a-thon. I literally found out about this like yesterday and I made the decision that I'm gonna be joining it. So it was too last minute to tell my TBR in a separate video so I just wanted to do a little introduction the night before and let you know what books I'm reading and if you saw on Instagram and Twitter you would have seen my TBR but I just wanted to talk about like the challenges and stuff. The Thriller-a-thon was created by Harriet Rose Reads on YouTube I'll have a link down below. There's six challenges but because I have full-time uni I don't think I'm gonna be able to read six and plus I'm such a slow reader that I would never have reached six so I combined two challenges for one book so that I have to read three books for the readathon and not six if you're wondering about uni it's amazing the classes are great the people are great shout out if any of them are watching so yeah I'm just gonna go over the books that is so fitting though! For the first book, I'm combining the first and the fourth challenge, which are read the thriller you're most anticipating and read the thriller with the best cover, which is You by Caroline Kepnes. As you all might already know, this was adapted into a Netflix series and I really want to watch it and this just sounds so good. It's on my 2019 TBR, I'll have a card up there. And the cover's amazing, like, it's creepy, but it's like so well designed and I just love it. For the second and the sixth challenge, which is read the thriller that's been on your TBR the longest and read the thriller that was recommended to you, which is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I read The Woman in the Window at the beginning of the year and I absolutely loved it and I just need more alcoholic unreliable characters so I really want to get to this and plus this is so hyped and it's a movie so really want to get to it. And for the third and the fifth challenges, which is read the thriller that you most recently added to your TBR and revisit a thriller author or book, which is Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. I read One of Us is Lying last year and I absolutely loved it, though I have a couple problems with it now that I look back. I really, really want to get to this and it sounds amazing. I'm already currently reading Two Can Keep a Secret. Is that cheating? I don't think it is. It's not in my book. But even still, it's only like 15 pages. Like, it's barely anything. I have the audiobook of You on Scribd, so I'm going to be listening to that. And then the other two are kind of short-ish, so I'm hoping I can get to them. All up, the amount of pages of all three books is 1,154, which divided by seven means I have to read 164 pages every day as well as uni. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but we'll see. And if I get through all three of them, it will really bring up my Goodreads challenge and like, that would be a blessing in itself. So yeah, those are all six of the challenges and the three books I'm going to read. I'm hoping I can get to them all, but as I said before, uni. Which reminds me, I need to go to bed for uni. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Blah. I'm currently on my way to uni. I was gonna vlog at home, but I had like no time. But I just wanted to talk about like reading and stuff like that. I'm gonna start off reading Two Can Keep a Secret because it's just quick and I just feel like I can get through it quickly. <laughs> I only have a half hour class, so I don't know if I'm gonna get much reading done, but I'll definitely read on the train. I always read on the train. So yeah, I don't know if this vlog is gonna be any entertaining because I'm probably not gonna get much reading done because of uni. Okay, I gotta go to uni. <laughs> Thank you. 
so it's now 10.24 on Tuesday. I forgot to film an update yesterday, so I'm sorry. So far, I'm on page 83. 83? 83. 83. Now that it's been two days in the Thriller-a-thon, I should be done with this, but... I'm so slow. But I have been reading on the train to uni and from uni. Technically, I could read during my breaks, but me and my friends at uni always, like, do stuff, and I feel like it'd be rude to read during then. We went to Michael's, which is a camera store at the city, and, like, on the top floor, there's a gallery there, so we went to look at that, which was pretty cool, and then we went around the city and just looked at stuff. And then when I got home, I watched Moonlight, which oh my god it is a work of art it is so good if you haven't seen it yet I highly highly recommend it I'm not gonna be too hard on myself if I don't finish the three books I at least want to finish two can keep a secret and you which as I mentioned before I have the audiobook for you but I don't really want to listen to it on the train because that would be really uncomfortable and it would make me really paranoid that I'm getting stalked because it's literally a book about being stalked. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably going to read more of this tonight before I go to bed. By the end of tomorrow, I probably want to get at least past halfway, which is pretty doable. But yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I got home at like 5.36, started doing a bit of editing for the vlog, and I just woke up. I missed dinner, I didn't get any reading done, and now I have to wake up at 6 tomorrow for uni. Ooh. Hi, welcome to my reading vlog where I don't actually read, I just go to uni and sleep. So. <laughs> So I didn't film like anything at uni today just because I am so fucking dead. Like it's Thursday, it's getting towards the end of the week and I'm just feeling so drained. I got home a couple of hours ago and I've been just editing videos and editing the start of this vlog. But I think now I want to start reading again. I'm about halfway through Two Can Keep a Secret, which is like 158, which technically if I was following the page count, I basically read 164 pages in four days when I was meant to be doing that every day. Love that. But I really want to make a mark through the second half of this book. So hopefully 
tomorrow and on the weekend I'll be able to move on to the other books because I don't want to just read this for the whole week. But it is good so far. At the start I was really getting confused with all of the names and there were so many characters being introduced and they were all intertwined and I was so confused. But now it's really getting to the good stuff and I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, for the rest of the night I'm just probably going to read. So let's do it. It's now five minutes to ten and I've made a decent dent into the book but there was a plot twist and it has me shook. I mean, mm, not really shook. Normally with thrillers there's like a couple of plot twists and then like the big boy comes in. This isn't the big boy yet but it still has me shook and I can't stop reading it. I'm really happy that I'm finally like getting into like the good stuff now. I might be able to finish it tonight. Maybe, possibly. I might be able to finish it tonight. But you didn't. now Saturday around three o'clock. Yesterday I did the exact same thing as I did on Thursday. After uni I went to my mum's work and we went to my dad's work to get the car from him. We got home at like nine o'clock and then I just crashed and ended up sleeping in until 12. For most of today I've just been editing videos and I've started reading again Two Can Keep a Secret. I only have about 50 pages left of Two Can Keep a Secret so I want to finally get that done today and move on to one of the other books. My plans for today are to finish editing my video that was scheduled for today but I think I'm gonna have to delay it till tomorrow now you can see how messed up my life is oh my god but I'm thinking the next book I'm gonna move on to is you by Caroline Kepneys just because I have the audiobook so even when I don't have time to actually physically read it I can still listen to it and do chores and stuff like that the girl on the train I don't think I'm gonna get to this week but I think it will be in my next read after Thrillerathon, and once I finish you. I don't have any plans for this weekend, so I think my plan is just to get as much reading done as I can and edit my video, so yeah. <laughs>
It's now like 10.22. Earlier today, I was reading and then I ended up going out to drop Dad to work and we ended up getting dinner. But now I'm finally getting around to finishing Two Can Keep a Secret. I'm on page... 295 and there's 323 pages in the book and there was a massive plot twist which I ended up already realizing in the chapter they ended up suspecting something and so I was like um what and then at the end of the chapter it then has the plot twist which I already predicted so that kind of sucks but yes I only have like 30 pages left so hopefully I can breeze through it finish editing the video which will go up tomorrow and then tomorrow I can finally start reading one of the other books which I'm probably not gonna finish tomorrow I already know that but whatever My dad just got good reads. Yep. Yep. How are you liking it? Just trying to learn at the moment. Yeah. Getting you adding books? It. Adding some books I've read. I just finished Two Can Keep a Secret, finally. Originally, I was going to give it three stars. I found it entertaining, but all the characters were just really confusing. But I think I'm going to give it 3.5 just because of that last line holy shit that had me shook it's pretty late but i think i'm gonna go to bed now so i'll see you all tomorrow when i finally get to one of the other fucking books jesus christ and whoop. it's now sunday the time is currently 209 i just took pictures of two can keep a secret and one of us is lying for my bookstagram and i'm about to put you onto my Instagram story. If you want to follow my Instagram, I'll have a link down below. I'm just editing them right now. The plan for today is to read, to edit my video because I still haven't finished editing it. And I have a couple chores to do. I need to do the dishes and clean my room because it is a monstrosity. So I can listen to the, my audio book while I do that and to eat because I still haven't had my lunch and I am hungry. So yeah, and It's now like 7 o'clock, I finished cleaning my room, I finished editing my video for today, which is exporting right now. So today's been pretty productive. So far I'm on chapter 4, the only time I was able to listen to it was when I was cleaning, and then obviously because I was editing, I wasn't able to listen to an audiobook. After this video's finished exporting, I'll add the background music onto it. And then I'm probably going to do the dishes, which I'll listen to an audiobook then. But... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to finish it today. I really don't think I'm going to finish it, but that's okay. So I'll see you guys later. is now up. It took a while for me to put it up because I had so much copyright issues. And then after that, I just spent a while updating on my social media and stuff like that. It's now 12, nearly one o'clock, and so I have to go to bed for uni. So I didn't get much time to read you today. And that's basically the end of thriller -thon. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm sorry I didn't do much reading in this vlog. All my social media links are down in the description box below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Boop!